Gentlemen, I spoke to you in the changing room. Obey my instructions at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Good luck, touch gloves. Go to your corners, I'll call you back. Double of Doshley and Kilda Nawatu. We are in for the first fight of our card here. A Wahine Tour 2. Three two-minute rounds of action. Matic in the red and white. And of course his opponent as well, Kurt Benny. And the black trim. Some bravery on show here with these cross-code rivals. Get into the ring, Monty. Well, your reputation is on the line and the pressure of starting the night off being the first fight up. And already Benny, who's less experienced, I think his first fight. Showing a nice educated straight left hand and long levers there down. Don't hold, don't hold. And the upper cut got everyone a little bit by surprise, including Matt Matic, who comes back in and across the top, gets one downstairs as well. I just missed the whiskers then. The right hook, but you see Benny's coming forward as well. What some of these guys might lack in technique, they certainly don't lack in heart. Two big men, 5kgs in it. Three two-minute rounds might not sound a long time, but I'll tell you what, they'll be heaving at the end of each round here. Well, these boys are used to playing with 14 other people on the field and then the opposition. Both big men as well in terms of heavy weights. When they land, they can cause some damage. As he comes forward again off the right hand. Crowd's warming up now. Well, they're liking what they see here. Benny's technique. Not so flash, but I tell you, he hits hard. But it's a little more considered, though. Yeah. Benefit of those three previous bouts, two of them MMA. It's one Benny this time. Comes forward. Wants to lead downstairs, he goes this time, Matic. But Benny's not having a bar of that. He comes back with a couple of shots of his own as well. Yeah, some nice body shots from Matic. He knows what he needs to do. He sees that area needs a little bit of work. Goes to the body. Slows him down. Great start. Good first round, Dale. Well, you can, you can come out in all different ways. Some guys come blowing straight out of the corner, want to mix it up straight away. But uh, we certainly had Benny just stepping out, having a bit of a suss out. Matic, though, using that extra experience. But, of course, the rivalry between the regions up here in the north, undeniable as we get a look at some of the action from round number one. Yeah, you see a straight right hand coming back here. Both men are showing that they've got straight punches in their kit. That's for sure. A little bit of an offbeat jab from Kurt Benny, whether he realises that or not, but he's also thrown from a, a, a lower area where you normally do, so it's a little bit harder to find your timing. Both men aren't gassed as well, which is good. Two minutes down, four to go. They've been out of season, of course, with their rugby connections and training. But isn't it great that they wanted to get into the ring here in front of the people of the north? Great rivalry. Carmel v Dargaville. Here you go, fellas. Round two. Yeah. That is with the longer reach, trying to use that to his advantage. Poking out the jab. He's in there. Working down the end. Sorry, nicely, Dowell is coming with that shot to the Levy region. It's definitely going to show him down. But he still walks forward, does Benny. But it's just a pretty good nick, too, as you can see. Working downstairs at the moment. Matic. Those dance after those flurries of the first round. It's a little more conservative in their approach here in round number two. Yeah, Matic is uh, finding the rhythm of the jab of Benny then just purring a couple of times. And, oh, it's a beautiful left hand shot. He came forward on it. He blocked. He pivoted. Gave him a ripping left hook to the chin. Yeah, that's it, eh? that's Khan is in there. I'll give you one more chance. Yeah. Just I'll seeing how Kurt Benny has responded from the knockdown. It was I'll a big one. Time, it was eh? a big left hook right on the money, right on target. Oh, and round me. number two. Well, he looked good, didn't he? In the early exchanges, Matt Matic. Good old mouth guard on the floor. It's an old trick that you've seen many a time and gives it a little bit longer. Talk about Kurt Benny, he's definitely the least experienced of the two. 
needs to suck it in because there's still 40 odd seconds left in this round. That's where Matic needs to go to work. He senses it. He's measuring that left hand. Yeah, and it's, it's dangerous here at the moment for Kurt Benny. Referee fires can't, is looking closely, looking into his eyes as Matic goes downstairs, just trying to add to the knockdown that he achieved here midway through round two with that thundering left hook. He's got another one too oh, with the right point? hand. Now starting to move a little Benny. And the referee's called it. Oh, look, he's got to put his right hand up. That's it. He's caught it. That's enough. Referee fires can't. Did no more punishment, but I tell you what, in terms of how tough he is, that bloke, and what Matic threw at him, it's a great way to start the night. So Kurt Benny is disappointed, but referee fires can't. The onus is on him to protect the fighters at all times. He was looking closely. And even though there's some disappointment there in the attitude on show there from Kurt Benny, the reality is that two fine shots from Matic. Firstly, the left hook, then a right cross as well. Very damaging. Referee fires Khan, says, I've seen enough. And calls this one deep into round number two. Fighters to the centre ring, please. Contest for your winner by TKO, fighting out of the red corner, Max Matic! 